and welcome to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys to episode 6 of my FIFA 18 Barcelona career mode. Apologies for the slight delay in getting this episode to you guys but here we are now ready to crack on with the new season. We started out last time with our league campaign, we beat Real Betis but we stumbled away from home against Alaves. We dropped our first points of the season there. That prompted me to go out in deadline day and sign Paulo Dybala. He is going to make his debut for the club today. We're going to be facing Espanyol in the Catalan derby live from the camp now then we're going to play our first Champions League match of the season and following that we are going to be going away at Hitafe. so without any transfer news without anything else going on today we're going to have three games coming up for you in this episode kicking off straight away with that Catalan derby against Espanyol and it's going to be a feisty one so for the first derby of the season, I am going to start with a strong team. Most players have been away on international break, so everybody in the squad right now is fully fit. So we're going to go with a strong lineup. Ter Stegen, Alba, Umtiti, Pique, Semedo, Busquets, Iniesta, Jorginho, Suarez, Messi, Dembele. One of the strongest lineups that I can field. It is before a Champions League game, so we might see some rotations. Potentially, we got Olympiacos in the Champions League. But right now against Espanyol, I'm going to put a strong team out, make sure I win the derby, especially after our stumble in the last game against Alba. Alaves and hopefully in the second half hopefully we take the lead and I can possibly bring on the likes of Dybala and other players as well who may well make their debut so we're going to start here and see how this one goes. Well tension in the air here it's got all the ingredients hasn't it and it's our main feature today on EA TV join us soon. This is Barcelona against Espanyol, Catalan derby on match day three. Hopefully we can leave this game with a lot more success than we did against Alaves. I'll be back with you guys when there are some key moments, but until then, let's watch the game. It's not been a perfect start, but uh, the win and the draw isn't bad, is it? On this side that uh, do bear the hallmarks of champions. Iniesta now into Lionel Messi, looking to sort of get off the mark as quickly as possible in this game. Here's Dembele, back to Messi now in that central role. Messi strikes within two minutes. Espanyol on the back foot already. And that's exactly what Lionel Messi can do best, just picking the ball up in that false nine position. He gets it from his man Dembele. They give him far too much room. Centrally, takes a touch, gets it out of his feet and caresses it into the back of the net. Barcelona with the lead inside the first three minutes of this game. Espanyol better be ready for this. We are coming for them. Semedo's giving it away there. Piquet with a bad challenge in the process. He's probably going to get booked for that one. That free kick. Well, that was a bit of a clattering challenge, but um, dare say I, he deserved it. Here come Espanyol, though, poor defending there, and it's level. Espanyol have scored at the fake camp now, and they are level here once again. Poor defending. Gerard Moreno getting the goal. It's a lax ball there just before half time now. Now would be a great time to get another goal. Suarez back into the path of Messi. Now it's Iniesta, Jorginho through the middle here. This is Jorginho from outside the area. Jorginho sticks it in. That is his first Barcelona goal, and what a way to get it. That is a wonderful strike from Jorginho. His first Barcelona goal picks the ball up. It's not like him to have one of these driving runs, but look at the strike on this. Again, he's outside the area, gets it out of his feet, and unleashes a thunderbolt straight across the goalkeeper. Diego Lopez, absolutely no chance. And just before half time here, Jorginho has given us a vital lead. And I am going to bring on now Paulo Dybala for his debut. I'm going to bring him on for Luis Suarez. Suarez in that first half was a little bit ineffective in some ways. He gave the ball away a few times. I'm going to bring on Dybala and I'm going to leave things elsewhere exactly as they are. 2-1 at half time. Let's have a good second half. Iniesta picking the ball up into Messi. That has to be a foul. That is not a foul. How on earth is that not a foul? Anyway, Messi gets it back out to Paulo Dybala. Let's see if these two really can play with each other here. Now into Messi. Nice little combination looking again for Dybala on his weak foot. Oh, he's clattered the bar with that one. We are attracted to the crossbar today, but what a strike that was from Dybala. Here come Espanyol, the ball into the middle. Ter Stegen easily gathering that. He's knocked down in the process. 
And I'm going to make a few subs here. I've got Dembele coming off. I've got Dolberg coming on for his debut. So I'm going to shift Messi out to the right-hand side. Dolberg going to be playing down the middle for his debut here. And I've got Denis Suarez coming on for Iniesta with that Champions League game in mind. Here's Dybala now out wide. Alba, Busquets, looking for Dolberg, flicks it on to Dybala. Now Dolberg, back out to Paulo Dybala! Oh, it's a good save from Lopez there. Just tipped it wide. Good strike here, coming inside. On that right foot though, still a good effort though by Dybala. Just wide there after Diego Lopez gets his hand on it. We're going to go short here with Lionel Messi. We're going to whip one into the area. Dybala's in there! And that is going to be a goal kick. He's having an impact though, he's certainly coming on, he's looking lively, looking to get into those dangerous positions. Here in the air he goes close, but it's just over the bar. Now Jorginho finds Denis, that's a lovely pass. On to Kasper Dolberg, looking for Denis Suarez again, he's got Dybala to his left. He picks him out, Dybala, Denis Suarez! Oh, what a goal that is! What a strike from Denis Suarez with a brilliant assist too from Paulo Dybala and we have had some absolute scorchers in this game. Fantastic goals, that one will seal the win surely. Denis Suarez coming off the bench yet again and having a really good impact. Such good play here, Dybala unselfish, clips it back across and letting it drop onto his right foot, hammering it into the back of the net. Once again, Diego Lopez without absolutely no chance. Brilliant goal from Denis and the derby should be won. Messi here looking for Dybala, he's got one man to beat, could this be his moment for his debut goal? It's Paulo Dybala from range, oh it's just wide, takes it on just past the post there. Five minutes to go, we don't want to concede a goal though, we don't want to make it a bit nervy to go into the final few minutes of the game, Pique should have that, he doesn't though and that's a wonderful save from Ter Stegen tipping that onto the crossbar there. That avoided a few nervy moments but here we come on the break. Dolberg doesn't reach him. Here's the final whistle, 3-1 on the night. We've beaten Espanyol, we've won the derby, and what a game that was. Some truly fantastic goals. There was a brilliant strike in there from Jorginho. It all started, of course, with Lionel Messi, and then that fantastic third goal, Dybala linking up with Denis, and a really, really well-earned win. I was really happy as well with Dolberg, who came on, who was a vocal point in our attack. He made a good impact too. Overall, I would say the best game that I've had so far in this career mode. Really nice goals, and a really, really entertaining game. Game. And here we go then for our second game of this episode, our first Champions League match of the season. We do have the same group on here. I put the teams in the same group, Sporting, Lisbon, Olympiacos and Juventus. We just face them in a slightly different order. So we've got Sporting here coming up at home in our first Champions League game. I've made two changes to the team. I brought in Paulo Dybala. He did brilliantly when he came on. He was so, so effective. Suarez drops to the bench. And I brought in Marlon at centre-back to replace Piquet. We're at home. It should be comfortable enough. And Piquet was a little bit tired so hopefully we can get our Champions League campaign off to a good start at the Camp Nou at home against Sporting. Well here we are Alan off and running we love this competition the Champions Cup it's the group stage match day one. Yeah the start of what can be a fantastic journey. Here we go then for our first Champions League game it's going to be very very difficult to match the sort of goals that we scored against Espanyol some really really nice goals but hopefully we can sort of set the same record in this game let's see if we can get off the mark with a win. On to Iniesta. Now Dybala, what can he do? Can he get his first goal today? Messi looking to link up with Dybala. He has the pace to get in behind. It's Paulo Dybala. Great save going across the goalkeeper on his favoured left foot. But a really, really good save there by Rui Patricio to deny Dybala his first Barcelona goal. Who in behind here. Sporting with a ball in. Marlon doesn't get there. Semedo with a mistake. Ter Stegen saves it, but it is in. Oh, oh it's offside. We have got away with that one. A complete mess in the box there. A few individual mistakes. But luckily, Dos goal just about offside here. Yeah, definitely offside there. Ter Stegen coming to the rescue originally. And the goal chalked off, luckily, from Sporting Lisbon. Oh, mistake there. Into Messi. Now Dybala. Lionel Messi. Jorginho, he's got Dembele there. Dembele! Oh, it's a good save, but Messi sticks in the rebound. Barcelona with the lead at the camp now. Sporting behind.
Nice to get off the mark in the Champions League. And of course, it is that man Messi. Jorginho finding Dembele, who is denied by Patricio, but a flying effort from Lionel Messi sticks it in. And that is the first goal of the game. And hopefully now we can go on and add to that lead. But Iniesta dealing with that. Dybala back to Jorginho. And that is the half-time whistle. 1-0 to Barcelona at half-time, courtesy of that Lionel Messi strike. On now with the second half, hopefully we can add to our lead and at very, very least preserve our lead. Here we go with the second half. Jorginho getting in there. Iniesta back to Jorginho. Looking left now to Dybala. He's got Machu matching him all the way. And, and Machu really is doing a good job right now. I'm struggling to actually get past him. And that's confusing me in itself. But here's Messi, the one man they can't stop. Messi from range! Oh, he's picked out the top corner there. What a strike! Oh, my word. Well, we said we would struggle to match the quality of goals from the Espanyol game, but Messi there has plucked one right out of the top draw. Headed back into play, Messi gets away with it, shrugs off the defender and smashes one. Top right-hand corner, Rui Patricio with no chance. What a goal that is. Matthew trying to jump and block it. He can't even get near it. Messi with two on the night now, chasing his hat-trick. What a goal that is. Now Dembele looking for Lionel Messi, who, like I say, is on that hat-trick, but he pulls it right to Dembele. Dembele now pulling away. He's got Messi in support, and Dybala has actually blocked Dembele's cross there. What De Machu has really got into Dybala's head here. He's now doing defending of his own. Oh, Dembele chasing that down. It's Dembele. Oh, he's missed it again. And I'm going to do the same as I did last game. I'm going to bring on Kasper Dolberg once again for Usman Dembele. I'm going to move Messi to the right, Dolberg down the middle. And I'm also going to bring on Sergio Roberto into the centre of midfield to replace Jorginho for the final 30 minutes or so. Oh, it's in behind here. Here's Bruno Fernandes. Great chance. And Sporting Lisbon have pulled one back. Marlon there, I think, was playing him onside. And it's put in there by Bruno Fernandes. Sporting Lisbon have a goal back and it was put in here yeah Marlon just dropping a bit deeper in behind his Fernandez too much pace and Ter Stegen can't do anything about that Sporting now pushing a lot of men forward we might be able to hit them on the break and get another goal here here's Danny Suarez shifts it to Jordi Alba who's got the pace has got the energy down this left and he's going to cut inside here he's got Denny Suarez arriving nice first touch Denny Suarez and it's saved by Patricio just a minute or so now to go of regulation time chance here now for Sporting perhaps it's Semedo who's going to get back and he does really well there Lionel Messi now could this be the final chance for a goal it's Kasper Dolberg who's going to put it over the top towards Dybala as he fouled. Referee says no, but that is the full-time whistle. We have got our first win of our Champions League campaign. It wasn't as comfortable as possibly we were expecting. At 2-0 we were cruising. Messi with a stunning second goal, but Sporting did get themselves back in. And in the end there, it was a bit nervy. We are struggling right now to keep clean sheets. But the most important thing, we have got another win under our belts. Barcelona 2, Sporting 1. We have received a few transfer offers here, obviously outside of the current transfer window, but deals can still be agreed and they'll just be completed in the next window, which of course will be January. And I've got an absolutely massive offer here for Ivan Rakitic. 29 now, 65 million euros offered for United, and they believe I could actually ask for even more. So that's exactly what we're going to do. United, of course, they've got loads of money, they're mega rich. We're going to see how much money we can get out of United, because right now we've got a lot of young midfielders coming through. I do like Rakitic in real life. I think he's done really, really well since he came into the club. But right now, the likes of Denis Suarez, Roberto, we made good signings with Alenia, with Soler. We've got a lot of players coming through. And if we can get a good sum for Rakitic, I think we should certainly do it. So I'm going to see here if they will pay around 77 million for the services of Ivan Rakitic. Let's see if United go with that. They are going to pay 77 million for Ivan Rakitic. We're going to be getting that money in the January transfer window, and that is a mega, mega deal for us. 
Other offers here, Sillison, we've got an offer here from Tottenham. We are going to negotiate that one as well. I've spoken in the past, like Rakitic, you know, I do like Sillison. He's certainly a very good backup in real life, but I just don't see on this game that I'm going to use him very often. Like I say, if I could get a decent money for him, I'm going to try out 27 million, see if Tottenham will accept that. Because I think Ortola, when I need to rotate, he can come in and more than do a job as a backup keeper to, to Stegen, who's very, very young himself. Tottenham are also going to bow to our demands. They're going to pay 27 million euros in January for Sillison. So already in January, our budget is looking very, very nice indeed. I've had some offers for Iniesta. I've had it from Milan. I've had it from Bayern. And of course, Iniesta, it doesn't matter what sort of money comes in. That offer is always going to be rejected. Same goes to Samuel and Tutti. We've had Tottenham. We've had Bayern. Now we've got PSG. That is also going to be rejected. But like I say, those deals for Sillison and Rakitic ahead of our January window and ahead of the summer as well that could be absolutely huge. Up next then, we have our fourth game of the season. We're going to go away to newly promoted Atafe. And what I'm going to do in this game is name a very, very strong team. I'm going to stick with my winning formula. I'm going to keep Paulo Dybala in that front three. It's been working well since I introduced him there. And the reason I'm naming such a strong team is you saw what happened in real life. You know, at times, Ernesto Valverde went away to Atafe. He probably did underestimate them a little bit. We named a weakened team and we very nearly suffered on that day for it. So I'm going to name a strong team here. And this could be the last last time that we see Usman Dembele start for a few months. I'm going to see how it goes. I'm going to leave him out originally after I finish with a Hitafe game. I'm going to leave him out of the team. If he does start to get too unhappy though, I will bring him back in. But I'm going to leave him out for a little bit just to try and keep it as realistic as I possibly can. Welcome everyone, I'm Martin Tyler, he's Alan Smith and we're going to talk about this match today. Here we go then for Barca against Hitafe. We are travelling away from home. Last time we did go away, of course, we did drop points on our travels to Alaves. We are currently second in the league. We've got the same points as Real Madrid. We're two points behind Sevilla, who currently have maximum points from their opening three games. Hopefully we can continue our winning run, good runs against Espanyol and also a win against Sporting in the Champions League. Hopefully we can continue that today and it starts right here. Here's Dembele, of course, the scene where it all went wrong for him, getting injured against Atafi, of course, very, very unlucky. But here's Andres Iniesta as we start this game very much on the front foot. Dybala, of course, looking for his first Barcelona goal. Now Messi looking for Dybala, who's going to be through on goal here. It's a great chance for his first Barcelona goal. Paulo Dybala sticks it in. That is the first of what we hope will be many Barcelona goals for Paulo Dybala. On the break, Atafi came out like they did in real life, really. They believed they could win this. They were going forward. Dybala getting a clean stretch of field ahead of him. Runs into it, keeps his composure. Really good finish. And that is an early goal and a nice little settler for us here. Barca won. Atafi nil. Messi looking around the back again. He spotted the run of Dybala. It's a great run indeed. Dybala in again. Good save. And Dembele coming in. Couldn't quite get onto that one but unfortunately in doing that Dembele has done himself a bit of damage and he is going to be coming off and like I say this is the last time we're going to see Dembele for a little while I'm going to leave him out until possibly things go wrong I want to try and make this realistic this of course where he did get injured and I'm going to bring on Delafeo in his place for Usman Dembele and he has to get him back to help out until he with a challenge. He's got Delafeo now to his right and he picks him out here. Messi also with him. Lionel Messi now getting ahead of stride, bursting into the open space. Lionel Messi sticks it away just before half time. We are getting into the knack of scoring at really, really important times. 2 0 Barcelona just before the break. Lionel Messi once again charging into the open space. Very similar to Dybala's goal this one. Charging there with pace. Messi across the goal. Goalkeeper though, fantastic finish. Barcelona 2, Hetafe 1, and a really, really nice lead going into the break. Second half here then, 2-0 right now with thanks to goals from Dybala and Lionel Messi. Hopefully we can extend that in the second half and hopefully we can take all three points from our second away game of the season and keep up this good run of form that we're currently on. Here's Busquets early on in the second half. He's got Messi and he's got Delafeo to his right as well. Delafeo, the man he picks out. Delafeo makes it 3-0. That's Dybala, Lionel Messi and now Delafeo all on the score sheet. 3-0 so far to Barcelona. We are running 
riot here against Atafe, and now it's time for some substitutions. I'm going to bring on Sergio Roberto and I'm going to bring on Danny Suarez. Jorginho and Iniesta in that midfield both rested and once again a chance for Roberto and Denis to come on and make an impact in that midfield. Two future midfield stars I believe. Hopefully they can have the desired impact here. And now Roberto. Out wide to Semedo. On to Delafeu. Into Lionel Messi. Lovely little football here. Oh, it's a penalty that's been given. I didn't really expect that. I have to say, Denny Suarez, the man that's gone down. I'm not really sure about that one. We didn't get a penalty when we desperately needed it, both in our two games of the season, first two games. It was Gaku here who doesn't really foul Denny Suarez, but we'll take that one. It's Lionel Messi here who is going to step up from the spot. I have missed a penalty with him so far this season. Hopefully I can put this one away. It's Messi from the spot who That's drills it home. 4-0 Barcelona and we are enjoying ourselves. Nice penalty here from Lionel Messi. Sets himself. Brilliant penalty into the bottom right hand corner. Guaita doesn't even move. And Barcelona, four goals to the good. Roberto's done really well since he's come on, as has Danny Suarez, and they, they both do, you know, they both come on, they play really well, have a real impact, and that is that, Barcelona 4-0 to the good on the day against Hitafe, we've really put them to the sword, we've really won well, Paulo Dybala getting his first Barca goal, 2 for Lionel Messi, and after Dembele went off with that injury, Delafeo coming on, getting himself a goal and making a good impact as well. A very resounding win, our most convincing win of the season so far, and a vital one at that. And I've been informed here that Man United and Rakitic have agreed a deal and he will join them in January for 77 million euros. We'll be allocated 71.5 of that transfer fee and I'm looking forward to having that money in January. Rakitic leaving the club and that is where I leave you with today's episode guys. Three games, three very very good wins, some fantastic goals and we here are currently in fourth in the table but we have played a game less than the likes of Real and we were two points ahead of them at after they drop yet more points. If we can win at home against Eibar, we'll be too clear of Real Madrid and just behind Sevilla, who have so far got maximum points. So in the next episode, we will be playing Eibar and we will be playing two more games as well. So lots to look forward to. Leave your thoughts down below as always, guys. I appreciate your suggestions. I'll see you very, very soon with the next episode. But until then, as always, Vesca El Barça. Barça, Barça.